on this much that on November 22nd, President Kennedy's motorcade enters Dealey Plaza from the east at 12.30 p.m. As his limousine travels along Elm Street, the president is shot twice, and Texas Governor Connolly once. And that's where the consensus ends. As he begins his investigation, Max Holland labels the three shots at the president as bullets A, B, and C. Working backwards in time, he starts by looking at bullet C, the fatal shot to the president's head. A moment of unforgettable horror caught on film. Yet this powerful footage isn't the work of a professional photographer. As the motorcade came down Elm Street, the camera with the best view of the assassination was held by a Dallas dressmaker. A gentleman just walked in our studio that I am meeting for the first time as well as you. This is WFA-TV in Dallas, Texas. May I have your name, please, sir? My name is Abraham Zapruder. Zapruder's 8mm film was not broadcast in its entirety until the 1970s. The rights were owned by Life magazine, and some images were considered too graphic to publish. But in recent decades, it's become the iconic record of the assassination. It's so graphic and disturbing and violent that everyone who wasn't in Dealey Plaza, when they think of the assassination, they only see it through, through Zabruder's eyes. Yeah, I have a film and see if we can get a developer real quick. Yeah. And since the fatal shot, or bullet C, happens right on the Zapruder film, it should be easy to trace the bullet's origins. The scene was too gruesome to describe. 